when Kylie went missing from the Prosser family campground. Social media was used to get her face out there. We were even given this still picture of her, which was taken off some CCTV footage I believe. It showed what she was wearing, and I believe she was found in those same clothes too, including the belt, which was buckled. Questions to authorities during those early days were answered pretty promptly. However, after Kylie was found, authorities were definitely less responsive to questions. Citizens starting stumbling across Kylie's belongings in Prosser Reservoir, and law enforcement was in no hurry to seize those. I can go on and on about the mistakes I feel were made in this case. You know what continues to surprise me though, is no matter how many times we ask about Kylie's phone, and where it is, we don't get an answer. We, the public, never got any explanation about how citizens found Kylie's items, instead of the authorities. If the car wasn't sealed properly and evidence fell out of the car, that's a problem. How are we supposed to trust law enforcement when we saw these big mishaps for ourselves? I also don't understand how no one can be charged with giving alcohol to Kylie. It definitely makes you wonder why the toxicology results stated all the ethanol content could be from decomposition. If that wasn't stated, there would be a loophole for charges against those who provided alcohol to a minor. I'm very disappointed with how this case was handled, especially after Kylie and her car was retrieved from the water. I would also like some confirmation that they have her phone and other belongings, such as the hoodie that she was apparently seen wearing at the party.